Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. A few days ago I had asked um, if you guys have been experiencing, you know, just having difficulties um, recalling your dreams, remembering your dreams and also just decoding your dreams. And I did that because the Lord had placed that burden on me and the Lord gave me, he allowed me, you know, to experience what um, some, if not most of you have been experiencing. And um, after that, and you guys responded, I got confirmation to that. And the Lord wants me to, to share something with you guys, something that I that I do whenever that happens, something that I do whenever that happens, and also just pray with you guys, just pray with you guys, and believe that this evil work that the enemy is doing is being destroyed. Um, the enemy comes against our dreams, he comes against our visions, because he knows that that is one of the ways in which God speaks to us, and he is not pleased with that at all. So the enemy will try and block our dreams, block our visions, so that he can come right in and make us feel confused, so that he can come right in and make us doubt what God has said and be di and be double-minded concerning the promises of God and even concerning who God is in our life. So I want to share with you guys uh, what the Lord has been saying to me, especially ever since that day that I asked you guys this question. The Lord has shown how the enemy is using this to throw us off. You are being delivered, you are being restored, you are being set free and transformed and this is aggravating the enemy so bad. It is aggravating him so much that he is trying to unstabilize you and he wants you to miss the fine and vital detail. And God wants us, God wants you to fight against this. God says that I have given you the authority to fight against this and reprimand this thief that is stealing and destroying your dreams. God is telling us to take a stand and tell the enemy that he has no place in your dream life. He has no place in the spiritual realm. And that he has no business, no business at all, trying to stop or block things from happening. Trying to block or even bring delay to your deliverance, to your restoration, to your transformation. God has given you the authority and dominion over each and everything in this earth. And it is time that you use the authority, the dominion that was given to you to come against Satan and his demons. I have heard so many ministers say that our dreams represent or indicate what is happening in the spiritual realm. And this is something that I personally believe too. The enemy wants to distort your vision, destroy your dreams so that you feel lost and that you feel confused. I don't know if many of you guys have also been feeling like um, you can't focus, you feel clogged up, you feel confused. You feel just like your mind, your thoughts are all over the place. The enemy is doing that to bring torment and he's trying to frustrate you as well. But we know that enough is enough. The enemy, when he knows that he can't take your life, when he can't take your soul, which is something that he wants so badly, when he can't do that, he makes it his mission to make sure that you are not living a blessed life, that you are not happy. So he tries to torment you. He tries to frustrate you. And now a, a weapon that he is using, a tactic that he is do using as, as him coming against you in your thoughts, in your mind, making you doubt what God has said, him fiddling and trying to just to play around with your emotions. 
This is what the enemy is trying to do. I know that many years ago, I bumped into a blog by Minister Kevin L.A. Ewing. And in his blog, he spoke about three very important things that one should do when they are battling with this issue. When they have difficulties recalling or remembering their dreams. I have done this and I believe that the Lord wants me to share this with you because it results. It really brings forth results. It really does work. So I want to share with you guys what I have learned, what I have learned and what the Holy Spirit has also just been teaching me through this whole process. Number one, um, we should pray and ask God to make us bold and give us the confidence and courage that we need to go against the enemy. And whatever it is that we cannot fight, may the Lord fight uh, fight on our behalf. And that the governors of darkness of this world that have been allocated to attack or block us from remembering our dreams, that these spirits be not consumed, that these governors, that these principalities be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. And we should meditate on Proverbs 10, 7, that says that the memory of the just is blessed. The memory of the just is blessed. So when you meditate, you'll say, Lord, my memory is blessed because I am just. But when you also say that I am just, you should say, Lord, seek if there is anything in me, anything around me that right now could be making me unjust. Have I, ga- have I given the enemy legal right to come and attack my mind? Have I given the enemy legal right that right now my memory that the memory that my memory isn't blessed because your word says that the memory of the just is blessed the memory of the just is blessed i'm going to repeat this once again because i feel like in the beginning i didn't say it properly proverbs 10 7 says the memory of the just is blessed so lord my memory is blessed i believe that my memory is blessed i receive that my memory is blessed because i am just i am righteous before god and if there is any unrighteousness inside of me anything that i have done where i have acted unjustly with others or if i right now am unjust. Holy Spirit, reveal it to me. Show it to me so that I can close this door, so that the enemy no longer has this right to attack my mind, to attack my memory, because the Bible says that the just has a blessed memory. So I decree and declare that my memory is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. The second thing that um, we should do is read two passages of the Bible. The same way that we need food to keep our physical bodies going, we need the word which is the bread of life so that our spiritual man can become stronger. I want to share something with you guys. Um, I once listened to a sermon by Pastor Kevin and he said, That, you know, whenever we have evil dreams or whenever we have someone uh, trying to attack us or trying to confront us in our dreams, he says that if we back away, right, if we run away, it means that spiritually we are not feeding ourselves with the word. And I I had experienced that a lot, that if I encountered witches, if I encountered warlocks or an animal, a dog, I would run away. I would speed. I would think that me saving myself was me running away. But as I spent more time, especially before going to bed, reading the Bible more, feeding my spirit, allowing my spirit man to be well fed and grow we know that if we give our body the right nutrition our body grows right so if we do that in the spiritual realm the same thing happens and when that started happening i used to confront these witches i used to confront these warlocks whatever funny image that came in my dream i used to confront it i used to fight against it and i would not lose because i was 
big. I was strong spiritually. My spirit man was filled up with the word of God. And the word of God brings power. The word of God brings confidence, authority, boldness. So I just want to share that with you guys. But in doing that, you will also see that you will be able to decode, interpret your dreams, and also remember your dreams. And one thing that is very important, I do this every day before going to bed, I anoint myself. And when I anoint myself, I anoint myself according to Ephesians 6 verse 10, 11, and then 13 to 17. I put on the armor of God. If you do not feel that you want to anoint yourself, you know, you can just speak the armor of God over you. Before I actually pray with you guys, I would like to read Ephesians 10 and just give you guys some notes concerning that. And then we can go and to prayer. So Ephesians 6, um, 10, it says, now my beloved one, I have saved them. I have saved these most important truths for last. Be supernaturally infused with strength through your life union with with the Lord Jesus. Stand victorious with the force of His explosive power flowing in and through you. Put on God's complete set of armor provided for us so that you will be able so that you will be protected as you fight against the evil strategies of the accuser right now the evil strategies that the enemy is using to affect you to come against you it is him trying to steal and kill and destroy your dreams him, him messing up with your memory him messing up with your mind so we are standing so that we can fight against the evil strategies of the accuser verse 12 says your hand-to-hand combat is not with human beings but with the highest principalities and authorities operating in rebellion under the heavenly realm for they are a powerful class a powerful class of demon gods and evil spirits that hold keys that hold this dark world in bondage so the world so the word is saying that when um all of this happens right you need to come against the highest principality and authorities that are operating in rebellion under the realm of heaven they are operating and they are being rebellious and they are coming against what god has already said and what god has said is that the memory of the just is blessed so there are principalities there are authorities that are trying to mess with your mind there are principalities and authority that are trying to enter your dream portal and mess up your dreams verse 13 says because of this you must wear all the armor that god provides you so you are protected as you confront the slanderer and for you are destined for all things and will rise victorious so we were going so we're going to put on the armor of god to come up against and confront this evil spirit, the slanderers. We are coming against them and we are confident that we are going to come out of this victorious. Verse 14 says, So put on the belt of truth to strengthen you to stand in triumph. Put on, the holy, put on holiness as the protective armor that covers your heart. In other Bible versions it says, Put on the righteous, the, the breastplate of righteousness to guard your heart Um, let me move to verse 15 and it says stand on your feet alert then you will always be ready to share the blessings of peace in every battle take faith as your wraparound shield for it is able to extinguish the blazing arrows that come at you from the evil one Embrace the power of salvation. uh, Embrace the power of salvation's full deliverance, sorry. Like a helmet to protect your thoughts 
from the lies and take the mighty razor sharp spirit sword <laughs> this version is so funny but it is so good so uh, it says i'm gonna read that once again i'm gonna start from verse 18 again guys embrace the power of salvation's full deliverance like a helmet to protect your thoughts from lies and take the mighty razor sharp spirit sword of the spoken word of god i'm just going to read until the end and then it says pray passionately in the spirit as you constantly intercede with every form of prayer at all times pray the blessings of god upon all his believers and when i was um reading that last night the lord just started downloading some stuff so the lord says the helmet the helmet is to protect your thoughts and to protect your mind the helmet to block the helmet to block off every distraction and confusion that have been sent by the enemy every arrow of doubt every arrow of confusion every arrow that is trying to make you double minded and, and double minded and just make you feel like your thoughts are over the place put on that helmet so that when these arrows are sent your thoughts your mind as protected the breastplate of righteousness to protect your heart make sure that we are standing righteous with christ that we are in right standing with christ living justly and we are being just with people and that our emotions are submitted to the holy spirit and that we do not allow the enemy to use it to use any emotion any feelings in our dreams to bring confusion. May the breastplate of righteousness be an edge of protection over our hearts. The belt of truth is for us to live in spirit and in truth. For us to say what is true, for us to say what is right. And when we do that, deception will depart from us the truth of god's word to hold us and secure us to give us security so that we are not going to allow the enemy to make us fall into his trap when we know the truth we do not fall into the trap of the enemy and when you have the belt of truth you are able to distinguish in your dream what is true and what is of god and what the enemy has actually bought to deceive you. The sheeps, the wolves that are coming in in sheep's clothing. When you have the belt of truth, when you stand on the truth of God's world, of God's word, you are secure, you can stand firm, and you can call the enemy out on his lies. The sandal of the gospel, the good news of Christ. The word of God, the good news of Christ is a lamp onto your feet. It gives you direction. It gives you guidance. It gives you understanding. It gives you spiritual maturity for you to stand in whatever territory that you are called to stand in. Wherever your spiritual life is wherever you are led in your dreams whatever territories that you are standing in your dream the sandal of the gospel gives you the maturity for you to stand against it for you to take dominion over that place over that territory for you to have authority in your dreams because every place where your feet treads it has been given to you. So that's why you put on the sandal of the gospel. And then we're moving on to the shield of faith. You know what the word says. You know what God has said. You need the shield of faith so that when the arrows of the enemy come to make you fall, to tell you that, no, this is a lie, this is not true. The shield of faith, the word of God, his promises, what is written in his word, it blocks all of that. It does not allow 
the lies of the enemy to affect any part of your body. It does not allow the lies of the enemy to come and destroy the works of your hand because the Bible says that the works of your hands are blessed, that your hands are blessed. It does not allow the enemy to bring sickness to you because the Bible says that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. So whatever arrow that they are sending, whatever arrow that they are throwing towards you, it does not succeed. It does not come near you because you have the shield of faith. And the last one is the word which is the sword of the spirit. When the enemy sends his arrows, sends his lies, you are able to block yourself, but at the same time, you are able to speak the truth at him. You are able to speak God's word against them, to bind him, to destroy him. Because when we use the word of God, it is us giving Jesus leeway. It is us allowing Jesus to fight for us and fight in our favor so i just want to pray i just want to pray with you guys concerning this matter concerning this issue and holy spirit we invite you right now oh god we come and we ask that you have your way have your way in our rooms have your way in our minds whatever is in our room whatever serves as a point of contact oh god for the enemy to penetrate, oh God, to come against our dreams, we come and we destroy it and we ask that the light of Jesus Christ shines upon our rooms, oh God, shines upon us and show us, oh God, the hidden things. Show us what whatever does not prevail from you that is giving the enemy legal right, oh Father, to torment us, legal right, legal rights to frustrate us. We come, oh Father, Lord God, and we ask that the spirit of truth and revelation reveals it to us, oh God, so that we can destroy, so that we can stand against the enemy. For you say in your word that your people perish for the lack of knowledge. Wherever there is lack, oh God, I ask that your knowledge comes in, oh Father. Teach us your word, teach us your truth, so that we can stand against the enemy so that we can stand against the principalities so that we can stand against the agents of darkness that come against our life that come against our dreams we decree and we declare that whatever power oh god that they think they have we use for the lord god our authority right now we use our authority right now to decree and declare that in the mighty and powerful name, name of jesus these spirits are now consumed by the fire of the holy ghost that these spirits are now stopped for the lord God, that these spirits are now blocked, Father, in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, for you have given us dominion and authority, O God, so we take hold of that dominion, we take hold of that authority, and we speak this prayer, O God, we say this prayer with boldness in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we come before you, Father, Lord God, in search of help, Father, to combat this evil spirit, oh God, the spirit that makes us forget, the spirit that brings confusion, the spirit that brings frustration, the spirit that brings fatigue. We come against these spirits, oh God, and we ask that right now they be cast out. Any spirit that ha- that comes up against Father, Lord God, our knowledge and the revelation of the Lord that has been given to us in our dreams. We decree and we declare that these spirits now be destroyed, that the spirits now be, that they work, be canceled in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Father, your word says that your people perish for the lack of knowledge, according to Hosea 4, 6. Therefore, Father, we come right now to destroy the invisible forces that are trying to hijack this vital knowledge that you are releasing to us through our dreams in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Any spirit that dares to hijack the spiritual knowledge, that dares to hijack the revelation the vital knowledge that the, that our Lord and Savior is trying to give to us. We now destroy it. We come against these spirits and we decree and declare that these spirits right now be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost and that they have no power to come into our dreams, that they have no power to mess with our minds. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I stand with my brothers and sisters and we commit ourselves, oh God, to your word that declares that the memory of the righteous it is blessed i decree right now that our memory it is 
it is blessed. We are just before you. Whatever, Lord Jesus Christ, that is unjust in us, that we, Father, Lord God, when we present ourselves to you, we may seem unjust, and these things are giving the enemy legal right over us. We ask that right now you reveal it, and that you forgive us, O God, for we decree and declare, according to your word, according, Father, Lord God, to Proverbs 10, 7, that the memory of the just is blessed, that the memory of the righteous is blessed. We decree right now, we speak over our minds, we speak over ourselves, that our memory, that our minds are blessed in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. And Father, we decree that your children are able to remember everything that you have released to them spiritually in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Father, now I pray that your word comes over your children and I pray your father that you are bringing the spirit of truth that you are bringing your knowledge that you are bringing wisdom unto us in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus you are also bringing understanding according to Isaiah 11 2 so that we are able to understand exactly what the Lord is saying so that we are able to remember everything that the Lord has shown through our dreams in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. We also pray in agreement with your servant, Apostle Paul, that prayed that the eyes of our understanding would be open, that we, for the Lord God, would be able to see and tap into the spiritual realm, and that you, Father, would bring enlightenment so that we would have the knowledge and the hope of Father to know and recall what the Lord is saying to us in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. We support His word within regards to our memory. We support, oh God, this word. We speak we speak back these words believing oh father that our memory it is blessed for the memory of the just it is blessed and you are opening the eyes of our understanding and we thank you oh god that every principality that every agent of darkness has now been consumed and destroyed by your fire in the mighty and and powerful name of jesus may your angels go forth and wage war against every demonic spirit against every a demon that dares, oh Father, to confront this prayer, that dares, oh God, to confront this word in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. We stop them at their tracks. We stop every arrow that is sent against us in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that you are renewing our minds as we spend time with you, oh God. You are you are unclogging our minds. You are taking out, Father, Lord God. You are taking away this heaviness that is upon our minds, that is upon our heads confusion we cast you out in the name of jesus and focus we cast you out right now in the mighty and powerful name of jesus we submit to you oh god we submit to our minds we submit to our spirits oh god and we submit ourselves unto you have your way oh god according to your will may there be an edge of protection over us and the blood of jesus over our bed over our pillows over our rooms in the mighty and powerful name of jesus that no evil of father will enter our dreams no evil spirit will enter our dreams in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. I give you all the honor, O God, and we give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for this deliverance. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you have set us free. We are no longer in bondage. Our memory is no longer in bondage. Our dreams are no longer in bondage, for we have been set free, for you paid this price at the cross, and we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for praying, for paying this price. We thank you, Father. We give you the honor we give you the glory in the mighty and powerful name of jesus amen amen guys i just want to share with you guys that if you guys feel led um after listening to this prayer or before you go to bed just take communion and cover yourselves cover cover your room with the blood of jesus and as you take communion speak Speak the word of God. Remember why you are taking this communion. Remember why the Lord said that we are to take communion. Speak the new covenant over yourself and over your life and over your house. I hope that you guys were blessed by this. Umbeju. Be blessed. Bye-bye.